What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Chelsea and Frank Lampard's Champions League campaign this season. What's Lampard's squad looking like? How well can he do in the Champions League? Can Frank Lampard win the Champions League again? And what should be the expectation for Chelsea in the Champions League this season, all things considered? So many questions, which we are going to get into in today's video. But before we do get into today's video, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell notifications icon to keep it locked for the upload every single day and sometimes I upload twice a day well I upload once a day and live stream but not always anyway please do subscribe and if you want to help me out please do like the video all right then so I wanted to talk about the Champions League in this video because Chelsea have officially released the Champions League squad now they've pretty much included everyone so it's not interesting because they've excluded anyone but the fact is they've included loads and loads of youngsters i'm talking guy i'm talking billy gilmore i'm talking maquette grin i'm talking coming i'm talking all the lads now this is the champions league and even in the group stages there's difficult opposition even Lille's going to be a difficult game so including all these lads it's really interesting. I think it's going to be great experience for them, even if they're just sitting on the bench in some games. But if they get to come on late, like certainly someone like Billy Gilmore, that will be so, so exciting for the lad and for Chelsea fans. But I want to talk about Chelsea's expectations in the Champions League this season. Chelsea have obviously are in a transition season. I swear people say that every year about Chelsea, but they legitimately are. They've got a new young coach with very little experience and kind of is learning on the job. They've got a transfer ban, which is obviously huge, and they've lost their talismanic goal machine and assist machine in Eden Hazard. Plus also the new superpowers have arised for the moment in English football in Liverpool and City, and obviously there's still the superpowers around Europe in the competition. So no one is really expecting anything from Chelsea Football Club in the Champions League this season. Now that's really interesting. Over the last sort of decade, Chelsea have been really, really good. They've obviously won the Champions League, they've won the Europa League twice. Their coefficient in their like, UEFA rankings actually very, very high. They've reached a couple of Champions League finals. They often go on good runs. So over the years, people do expect a lot from Chelsea in the Champions League. But that's different this year. And I think it's the first time for a long time that people aren't even considering Chelsea. I mean, quite rightly, all things considered, but people aren't even thinking, oh, I wonder how well Chelsea would do in the Champions League this season. Now then, I think that suits Chelsea. Not saying that suits them so they can go and win it. I just think it's a good space to be in for Chelsea, Frank Lampard, the young players, just to go in and experience express themselves essentially on a European platform and see how well they do. The pressure is off, so Frank Lampard probably spoke to Jody Morris and said, look, for the first time in a long time, no one's even thinking of us. All we gotta generally try and do is get out of the group stage and, you know, just try and develop this team domestically, see how we go, transition, get through the transfer ban. So with the pressure off our shoulders, let's go into this Champions League campaign, include all the kids in the uh, squad list and just try and have a good time. The players will know there's no expectation and weight on their shoulders. I mean, think of it comparatively. Manchester City, obviously an amazing team, but the amount of pressure for them to win the Champions League is huge. And the reason for that is they've brought in Pep Guardiola to do so. They've won Premier Leagues. So they've never won a Champions League. Pep Guardiola has won the Champions League, but only when he's had Lionel Messi in his squad. He went to Bayern Munich to essentially win the Champions League for them again. He couldn't do it. And he's been brought to Manchester City to do a similar task. Obviously, he's basically displayed total domestic domination, which is great. Therefore, he will be, you know, looked on as a, as a success at Manchester City, but they desperately won that Champions League title and so does Pep Guardiola. He wants to prove himself that he is that the world's best coach that doesn't need Lionel Messi to win a Champions League title. So yeah, like I said, lots of pressure. Chelsea can just literally stroll into the Champions League, have a good time in the uh, group stages and just express themselves from start to finish with absolutely no expectation to really do anything in it. Superb feeling for that young squad to go out and hear the Champions League anthem. Players like Tammy Abraham and Mason Mount have obviously worked very hard, but they've been working hard in the championship and Vitesse for Mason Mount. 
So suddenly, they get that reward. Bang. It's not just playing for Chelsea. It's, look, you're in the Champions League. That's why it's so exciting for players like Billy Gilmore, because he finds himself from the development squad to, who knows, starting in the Champions League in the Johan Cruyff Arena against Ajax. I'm not saying he'll start, actually, but you know what I mean. It's just really exciting for the youngsters. So, if Chelsea dared to dream, how well could they do in the Champions League? What is their expectation. Well, for as much criticism people have given Chelsea in the opening stages this season, they're still without their most important and arguably best players in Hudson-Odoi, Loftus-Cheek, and Golo Kante. Antonio Rudiger, there is a bunch, and still there is an argument for, in terms of fitting the mould a lot better, Reese James coming in. Potentially five players that start and make this current Chelsea side a lot better. Well, the bookies have got Chelsea 33 to 1 to win the Champions League. 33 to 1. Obviously seen as incredible outsiders, but you know what? I want to explain why I think that might almost be kind of generous odds for Chelsea to win it. Now, look, there's teams that are much better than Chelsea and have better European pedigree in the competition, obviously. But think about it the pressures on Manchester City, who are the favourites to win the competition by a long way. Um, there's Liverpool, who obviously are very good in European competitions, but they're going for the holy grail of the Premier League. And then you've got Barcelona that are like third favourites. And the last couple of times they've bowed out of the Champions League, it's been in sort of disgrace, really. You've got clubs like PSG that, you know, really are in disarray in terms of the dressing room. The whole Neymar saga has caused all sorts of problems with certainly the ultras and the fans. They don't want to see him play for PSG again. And to, <laughs> to set on the dressing room, they've brought in Mauro Icardi. And we all know what he's like. And then Real Madrid, that should be the favourites, I reckon, in terms of the amount of plays they brought in and they've got Zidane back who won three Champions League in a row in only two and a half seasons. But they've been naff. <laughs> Look, all those teams have got a much better chance of winning the Champions League than Chelsea, obviously. But when people sleep on Chelsea, they often perform better than people think they were when they won the Champions League. Just look how well they were doing in the domestic campaign that season. All the odds were against Chelsea. In fact, you could say Chelsea won the Champions League the time that they probably shouldn't have and all the times they were better suited to, they didn't, you know, the final against United. Just all the better performances, the clashes with Barcelona, the away for Lona game. Ugh. And, you know, there's examples of, like, when Conte came in and Chelsea were favourites to finish 6th and 7th and they walked the league with, like, 94 points or 93 points or something. But I want to pose the question that I think in tournament football, in these one-off games, Frank Lampard could be the perfect coach for that. Now, we've only got a small sample size to judge him on, but... Hear me out. At Derby, Frank Lampard had an incredibly good cup run. He obviously went away to Old Trafford, uh, beat Jose Mourinho's Manchester United. I know, but on, <laughs> on penalties. But then he came to Stamford Bridge. I was at that game when we won with the two own goals uh, against Derby. They outplayed Chelsea that, that day. They were the better side. And even the example of the playoffs. Derby were the underdogs, but when they did that epic comeback at Leeds, that is essentially tournament football, you know, format. And that was an inspired comeback and reaction from the coach, Frank Lampard. I'm just saying, Chelsea might struggle domestically this season in the league campaign, but in terms of inspiring a group of players to get through certain games um, and basically play well through tournament football, I think Frank Lampard could be really good at that. Sort of like how Zidane was in the Champions League when he did so well. So, that kind of inspirational figure that can lead his team for adversity in Frank Lampard, plus all these returning players to the Chelsea squad, and Chelsea's just general pedigree of performing well as the underdog, all mixed together. I think 33 to 1 for Chelsea to win the Champions League is a little bit generous. Now, I'm not suggesting any of you go and put loads of money on Chelsea to win the Champions League. It's just a thought experiment. It's a question that I wanted to pose to everyone. Just consider all the points. The pressure is off, remember. These young kids, this young Chelsea squad can literally go out and express themselves. And it's a really talented squad. If they can click, together, if they can get these small concentration laps or tactical defensive laps out of their game, they can absolutely go away to European stadiums and do the business under Frank Lampard. Hopefully, knowing they don't have any particular pressure to do really well in the Champions League, and therefore, 
have a little bit more of a relaxed demeanor and express themselves better. Just a theory, right? And a nice one. But I want to throw it out to you guys. What do you think of my thoughts on the matter? Do you think Chelsea can surprise people in the Champions League this season? Get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on the squad. And let me know what, how far you think Chelsea will get in the Champions League this season. Give me your predictions down in the comments. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor and like the video. I upload content every single day, so please do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are new. And feel free to follow me on social media, at Football Yannick. That's at Football Yannick, both on Twitter and on Instagram. That's it for me though, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.